Hey everyone, Creating Spaces here. Today I wanted to show you the Cliffix system I made for Bitwig. I called it uh, BitX, super original. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, where it's at at this moment. Uh, it's in its basic phase. Uh, what you can do with it already, uh, it's also directed at the, the developers at Bitwig and uh, other developers out there like Jurgen Mosgrammer or uh, other people who develop um, scripts for Bitwig, uh, everyone who wants to contribute, uh, that would be awesome because, uh, yeah, it would be uh, cool if this system would grow um, and we could, yeah, build it like Cliffix uh, did. Uh, Cliffix is super awesome. Uh, a lot of you uh, Ableton users out there probably know it. You just type something in a clip name, the command you want, and then uh, it's executed. So uh, yeah, I just copied the same principle to Bitwig here. Okay, so uh, let's show you around here. So let's start with, uh, yeah, where, where can you find the scripts? Uh, so if you go to the link uh, in the description, you will come to my GitHub page. There you have the bitx um, code and in the bitwig extension directory you can just download the bitx.bb uh, extension, copy it over to uh, your documents bitwig studio folder and then you have extensions here. You just copy the bitx extension. I have a bunch of them, the Richie Houghton ones, uh, the driven by Moss. So just copy it there. In Bitwig then, File, Settings, Controllers. You have all your controllers here. For me, it's at the bottom here. Personal, uh, Personal, that's my uh, audio software company name, actually, uh, Bitx. Here you can define uh, the width and height of an info window you want to display. Uh, the number of tracks uh, that's in your set. Number of scenes, uh, number of layers. I will explain that layer so you, uh, later, so you can uh, customize some stuff here. So you just activate it, and it's ready to go. Now, uh, what can you do with it? Let's start with the basics uh, over here at the in the master. We have the command uh, BPM. So you just type uh, the two hooks BPM and then one two three, and this will change the BPM uh, to one twenty three. Of course, let's uh, do it here to one three four. You can see a change here, so this is already, uh, yeah, for me, super handy <clears throat> because I don't like to go into the MIDI file uh, and then yeah, go here to the, the 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 transport, the tempo, and set the the, the BPM there. Uh, it's a bit cumbersome, I think. Okay, so uh, the next one is the SPN command, is the show pop-up notification. You just type SPN and then uh, the message you want to display. It's a, it's a bit weak notification uh, and it displays like here, hey. The next one is some uh, something I use very often. I will also uh, link to the video how I play live with Bitwig, uh, then it's a bit more obvious, but uh, if you just want to check out the Cliffix, you can uh, yeah, just stay on this video. So uh, SMW, it's show uh, message window. So I've created a, a window here on top, as you can see. And you just type in the air command and then the display, uh, the message you want to display. So here. I use this uh, yeah, to remember what, what tracks to play, what uh, notes to play, just general info uh, going through my set, uh, super handy for me. So that's SMW. Okay, next command is the LDR, it's load drum rack. Uh, just to be clear, um, at the time of writing and shooting the video, the device that you swap should be in the second position, so I just always put a uh, like a note FX selector in front of it. Uh, let's test it out here. LDR and then the name of the drum preset. You see it changes it, so that's a very handy also just to uh, have other drums per song. Same principle, uh, the um, drum preset should be in your library. Presets and then 
in Draw Machine. So it loads this physical file uh, in your presets folder. Okay, let's go to the next command. This is a LIR, it means load instrument rack. As you can see here uh, on the track, I have an instrument selector. This is actually the whole reason I started creating the script. I uh, wanted to load presets uh, when I uh, switch a scene or uh, yeah, just when I, when I click a, a clip here. I wanted to be able to load a preset by name. So, uh, not by index here. Uh, I don't like having MIDI clips setting the, the index number. Uh, yeah, I think it gets messy uh, very quick if you uh, reorder your set like I do or add songs or uh, delete stuff. Uh, yeah, it gets messy and I don't have an overview. So this is what, what I wanted to accomplish. Uh, yeah, loading the presets here. So as you can see, uh, you just add a preset uh, to it any way you want. I'll just add an Arturia again. This one, uh, you can actually also just create uh, chains here. So you can add whatever you want to it. Uh, some, some, some distortion, for example. You save this as a preset, save preset to library, name it, name of preset. Three, because <laughs> I've uh, redone this video a few times now. Uh, okay, name of reset three, and then you can just type in uh, LIR name of reset three, and it will load it. So very handy. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, another cool thing is the script actually selects this one, so the device itself as in focus so that means that you can if you're familiar with the uh, driven by mos scripts you can uh, access the device parameters here uh, which you can see here uh, the filter cutoff for example they are mapped to this controller and when i turn the knob uh, you can see it uh, yeah move also then when i go to another track the focus is also on that instrument on that track so if you switch tracks, then uh, automatically the device parameters all, all, are also directly selected, which is uh, pretty cool. For example, I'm on the bass track now. And you can see me. Change the frequency. I go to the main synth. I have the presets here. So that's uh, yeah, really cool. For example, I'm going to this track. Select the bass track. Go to the main synth. Okay, let's go uh, through the script now. So, uh, yeah, the code is very limited at the moment. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, the commands uh, that I just showed you. Um, we have uh, yeah, some settings that you can uh, set in the file settings uh, for the controller scripts. The, the functions are here. Um, this is the text, the display text in window. Uh, a little side note, this broke actually uh, in uh, Bitwig 5.2. So this is also a question to the developers of Bitwig. Uh, please have a look uh, if you can't fix it. Uh, it got broke uh, during the, the whole uh, GPU update in 5.2. So uh, here I'm, I'm uh, still on 5.1.9. Uh, so I can still use my window because uh, uh, for me it's necessary in my sets uh, so yeah but I think uh, they will fix it soon so uh, it's gonna work again so this is in a nutshell the code if you have any questions uh, hit me up in the comments uh, if uh, you want to contribute uh, develop for it 
please let me know. Uh, you can find all the data uh, on my YouTube uh, personal info settings. So uh, yeah, I hope you like it, have fun with it, and uh, let me know what you think. Bye.